I've gotten differences of opinions with researchers as, as to whether it's a smart idea for parents to be giving their child a vaccine that just came on the market. Gardasil is one of the things that has been brought up. The editor-in-chief of JAMA questions whether Gardasil should be given to 12 and 13 year old girls because she says, is there enough known about the, the, the risks of this vaccine? How much do we know in those first few years when it's on the market? So what do you tell? What do you tell a parent when they say, you know what, this is kind of a new vaccine. I think I'm going to wait a few years. This is a naughty question and, uh, you know, it's one that obviously was faced with each vaccine uh, as it comes out. The information that we have now is that, uh, from what we know, it is safe. Uh, and uh, so I still would be uh, indicating that uh, it's a good idea for the, the family to go ahead uh, with it, uh, particularly because cervical cancer is a very serious uh, concern that they have. Um, I think, you know, in, in the scale of how hard I would push in terms of, uh, you know, this is something I really think you must do, uh, it would take a, a lower scale now. One thing that, um, that happened, and we saw it in several states who wanted to mandate that young girls, you know, who are seven, eight, or nine, uh, who, who weren't sexually active, be, uh, be immunized with Gardasil rather than moving it up to, you know, an age that we would say is a sexually active age. Uh, and you could see moving that lower and lower. So how do you uh, come up with those decisions or those judgments? The advisory Committee on Immunization Practice says at what age, and, and I think to pick up on the Gardasil and, and the various opinions you'll get, most people agree that by senior year in high school, 75 percent of young women are sexually active, which, you know, scares me to death now that I've raised, you know, three daughters and have a little granddaughter. <laughs> and then the, the, the knowledge of the system is important because we know the new vaccine is going to go into the vaccine data link system where 100,000 or more patients are monitored and maybe if you have a, you know, a nine-year-old, an 11-year-old and the mother says, look, she's barely getting into puberty, she hates boys, can we wait? Sure, whereas if you get this, this young lady who, you know, looks like she's, you know, ready to go on Playboy or something, you know that, you know, the chances are you're going to have to move a little faster and, and have that discussion with the family about, you know, what's the risk, can we wait, and so forth. We did not support a mandate at the state level for that vaccine because we thought the educational process needed to occur first, and it was a great opportunity to educate because 80% of pregnancies are unplanned, adolescent pregnancies. Mm -hmm. So you have to take hepatitis B and Gardasil and get all your mileage out of them. Mm -hmm. In fact, in some, uh, I th in some uh, European countries, they do, mar I mean, Gardasil and hepatitis B are sort of treated in a similar fashion. They're both sexually transmitted, uh, and they both prevent cancer. I mean, they're very important vaccines.